Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is Roman, the true football fan, once again with another quick little video for you guys I have today. And it is about Josh Gordon, the wide receiver for the Cleveland Browns. Now, I'm going to touch on the subject a little bit. I know it's a little late. It broke one day after the first round of the NFL draft back in early May. Now, Josh Gordon has had issues in the past with breaking the NFL substance abuse policy consistently, year in, year out. Every offseason, he's always doing something. Something that's breaking the NFL rules that could get him suspended. Now, what is he facing again? He is facing a year-long suspen suspension for breaking the substance abuse policy once or more. He got suspended last year for the first four games of the NFL season. He came back, tore it up on the field, ended up being the best receiver in the NFL last year. Hands down, he was making plays left and right, getting multiple touchdowns in a game, multiple receptions, crazy, crazy yard yardage numbers in a single game. Ridiculous. Okay, He's an astounding NFL player. He's one of the top ten receivers when he is not suspended. Okay? And then, a few weeks later, he gets caught, he gets a speeding ticket, and his buddy in the passenger seat has marijuana on him. So, I don't know what Josh Gordon is doing, I don't know why he's doing this. Does he not realize that he is one of the best receivers in the NFL today when he's not suspended and when he's on top of his game and he has a quarterback that can throw to him? And what does this do for the Cleveland Browns? This means that if Josh Gordon is suspended the entire year, who do you have who do you have Johnny Manziel throwing the ball to? You have nobody. Okay? You have no one in the backfield. You have a good tight end. You have one of the top ten tight ends. He's a beast. And you have no receiver if Josh Gordon's suspended. But when Josh Gordon is there, that team is stellar on offense. And we have Joe Thomas on the line. Josh Gordon Honestly, although he's been making mistakes, he is the face of this franchise. A lot of people can make arguments that it's about Joe Hayden, but I think it's got to be Josh Gordon. The dude is a player. The dude is a beast, okay? And he's definitely one of the better receivers in the game, one of the better players. In NFL's top 100 players of the NFL the past season, he's got to be in the top 15, top 20 at least. I mean, he put up some crazy numbers. Now, They've got a young team, and they've got a good team. When Brian Hoyer was healthy last year, they had a good little stretch of some pretty good games. They were winning. Um, they were keeping games close. They weren't getting blown out like they normally do. They finally addressed issues on defense last offseason. Joe Hayden is finally back healthy, 100%, probably one of the top five best corners in the game. They did lose TJ Ward in free agency to the Denver Broncos. But the a lot of people are overlooking the Cleveland Browns. Yeah, they made another coach change, which is a big mistake. You can't keep bringing in a new coach every year. It's going to cause issues for your players. Getting used to a new type of coach, new play style, new coordinators. That's a big mistake by their front office. But if this team is healthy and no one is suspended, and Johnny Manziel ends up being an amazing player, which I'm expecting him to be, or Brian Hoyer ends up winning the job, and they start winning games, this team can make a playoff push, ladies and gentlemen. Don't count them out, ever. The Cleveland Browns are very, very, very keen on being overlooked. They're constantly overlooked. And I think the Cleveland Browns can make the playoffs this year if Josh Gordon doesn't get suspended. I really don't think he will. I mean, I really do think he will. But, I mean, it's disappointing because he's a great receiver. And he's a great fantasy pickup for fantasy football now that we've got that rolling around the corner. But... It's disappointing. It's disappointing to see. I don't know why he's making this these mistakes left and right. If it happens again, he'll probably lose. He probably won't be. He'll probably be, end up being a free agent. I mean, I wouldn't mind Dallas getting him, but the Cleveland Browns need him. They need Josh Gordon on offense. He is their playmaker on that offense. Once Johnny Manziel gets there, he might end up being the offense, and he can work with what he has. But Johnny Manziel worked with Mike Evans. On, on, at Texas A&M last year and the year before that. Mike Evans is a huge dude. Josh Gordon is a huge dude and super fast, just like Mike Evans. Give Johnny Manziel a Mike Evans type player and Johnny Manziel will do wonders and your offense will soar through the roof. Mark my words. If Johnny Manziel and Josh Gordon play some games together, numbers are going to be high. Scoring will be high. Jordan Cameron is there. 
on offense at tight end. I don't know who they've got in the backfield. Joe Thomas is there to protect him on offense. And they don't really have a second receiver. And that's why I think the Browns made a mistake trading back in the draft. They ended up picking up Justin Gilbert. But Justin Gilbert was a great pick. But I think they needed to address their wide receiver issues more. And apparently the Cleveland Browns knew about Josh Gordon possibly facing suspension before the NFL draft. So I don't know what Mike Bettine and company was doing over there in Cleveland. But if they knew that Josh Gordon was possibly facing suspension, why didn't they grab and trade up for the best receiver in the draft and get Mike Evans or Sammy Watkins? Because they ended up trading back with the Bills, who are at number nine. The Bills went up to four, grabbed Sammy Watkins, which was an okay pick. And then the Browns ended up trading one more ahead to get Justin Gilbert with the Vikings. So it was like Mike Evans was on the board and Sammy Watkins was on the board at four. And they traded back. Mistake number one. They could have traded up again with maybe Tampa Bay, who was at seven, to grab Mike Evans. I mean, I don't know what they were thinking. Justin Gilbert's a great player. He's the best corner in the draft, no doubt about it. He's going to do wonders for that Cleveland Browns defense and make it that much better. But you need an offense, and you need a receiver, a quarterback, can go to. San Antonio Holmes is still a free agent, but he's too injured. Got a few more players on free agency. I thought it was just a big mistake. And with Josh Gordon facing the suspension, it's disappointing. I really like the guy. He's a great player. But if you're going to keep making the same mistake over and over, you're going to lose respect. You're going to lose a lot. Your team's going to lose a lot. And it's all about your team. And that represents what type of team the Cleveland Browns have. There's no discipline there. There's no one ever saying something serious. That's why Des Bryant has grown as a receiver because Jerry Jones and Jason Garrett got on his ass and said, listen, you're a part of this team. You're not screwing up anymore or you're off. And, it, and that Cleveland obviously hasn't done that because they need what they – they have to take what they can get. So, But if I were Mike Patine and company over there in Cleveland, i say, listen, you got to get your stuff together otherwise you're off this team because we need you – as a player, we need you for this offense. We need you for this team. And if we want to make the playoffs, and if you want a future Super Bowl ring, you're going to need to show up and you need to quit messing around. Plain and simple. I don't know why no one has addressed it before. I don't know why we haven't seen an article. I don't know why we haven't seen a news report on that. But someone needs to step up and get it together over there in Cleveland. Otherwise, they're going to keep playing in the toilet every single season. Every single season. There's no issues with any other player on that team right now, except Josh Gordon. And that's what was going on with Des Bryant in Dallas. He was messing around. He was screwing around. He was doing dumb things. Jerry Jones and Jason Garrett got it on his ass and said, listen, or you're off. And they need to step up and tell Josh Gordon the same. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave down in the comments below. How much will Josh Gordon's suspension affect the NFL if he gets suspended? Could he face more charges with his friend having marijuana on him and getting another speeding ticket? Do you think there needs to be more discipline in Cleveland? I do. So go ahead, leave that down in the comments below, and make that gray like button into a shiny green like button. And if you guys completely hated the video and you hate the Cleveland Browns, go ahead and hit that dislike button. It's your opinion, not mine. I'm not going to tell you what you can and cannot do. And if you guys want to subscribe to keep updated with everything, video games, movies, footballs, comic books, superheroes, anything, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'm making videos every day just for you guys. And go check out my past videos. I've got a video about Colin Kaepernick re reaching a new deal, breaking records over there in San Francisco. And then go ahead and share the video to get the word around about Josh Gordon and get me some attention. I'm doing this for you guys, not for me. I'm not too much an attention grabber, but if you guys are enjoying my content, I am completely happy. And also leave down in the comments below what you guys would like to see. This is about you guys, like I've said before, not me. And if you guys want to see something crazy like rank all the all-time greatest quarterbacks, I'll go ahead and do that for you guys. Thank you. My name is Roman. Have an excellent day.